Do you watch it with your friends and family? And, and what's the thing that's freaked you out the most that seeing it on screen for the first time just really just disturbed you? Well, I'm usually on set with um, Abby, obviously, and um, <laughs> we're, we're working, and so I don't, you know, we don't, I don't get to watch it that often. But when I when I do, it's usually on, you know, on digital or something, Hulu or whatever that is, you know, iTunes or something. What, what are you watching? <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, do you know what's going on? <laughs> um, oh, we're usually at work, um, sort of, you know. We hear about it occasionally. I think uh, last the last episode that was aired, I actually I was off that night, so I watched it in bed. You know, sort of like in and out. You, I can't watch the whole thing. You know, I have like that actor thing where I watch some of it and then I'm like, oh, it's my scene. I got to change it to something else. I was gonna say exactly. I change the channel. Um, it's a lot of fun though. It's a lot of fun seeing what everyone else is doing when you're not there. Seeing like his work. The, beautiful scenes that were in the last episode and Luke and like all the new characters that have been introduced. So that's really refreshing because you're sort of like, what else is going on in this world? And it's nice to just have it flushed out. And I also think that helps when we go back to work to sort of see what's happening and how everyone's um, reacting towards it. Yeah, it's one thing to read it, but it's another thing to actually see what that yeah. person did with that moment. And we're all on such a crazy schedule. We're not always together. So uh, what that's the most you? Part. Any of those? Any examples? Of I mean, yeah. I mean, look. When I first saw the pilot, I was like, "Whoa, okay." <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know, it ends with something that I thought was super creepy. And I, you know, I've been a, a fan of her since you know she did Express, so uh, which is a movie I really, I really love as a football fan. So you know, it's it's been amazing to work with with her and, and Tom. But the show's scary. I think the shocking thing is it's funny. I, I don't, you know, you. I, it surprises me every time to go from something where you're like, okay, all right, well, you know, a little bit of pee shot out, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Pissed myself or nothing, okay, it was too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing is that you have, <laughs> you've done a lot of comedy in the past, but sure. your character is pretty badass and very serious. He is. Um, do you like that? Do you want to see maybe some of that comedy? Uh, the comedy your character? No, because I, I think that it's important, as Nicole said earlier, um, I think it's important for us to hold the premise uh, to scrutiny. I think it's important for us not, it's a fun show, but I think the believability of it is something that she holds down so so wonderfully. But I also think that it, that's not and where it's what it you is. Do. Yeah, it's what I do. And, and also, it, it's not what it is. I mean, when I go to a comedy, I go to a comedy. This show is not that. And this role is not that. So from an actor's perspective, I really feel like this is what this is, and I don't need it to be anything more than that. You know, he's not Orlando; he's a different but person. But you can also be like devilishly funny because the comedy is sort of bred out of the ridiculousness yes. of 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 the premise and what you know what's coming to our yes. doorsteps with sort of like landing yeah. for us. I mean, look. Part of the reason I stopped doing comedies, frankly, is because they became broad comedies. And I was always more interested in character-driven, reality-based comedy stuff. I was always a big fan of watching Tom Hanks make the transition from Bosom Buddies to, you know, big to what you see him do now, or even right. Forrest Gump, which frankly is not a comedy, but is a wonderfully funny movie. So I really like when it's really grounded. So I think Irving says things that are really kind of funny, but he's not a funny person. So I like that, that he's not, you don't have to push for it and to reach for it, and that's always fun to do. Can you talk about Mad TV for a second? That was how you started out. I mean, sure. On comedy side, I've Look, Mad TV sketch comedy show, different beast. You know, it has very simple rules. Either you're playing some wild chicken guy, or you know, or you're doing. Uh, it's about the premise of something that's funny. So different styles of comedy, certainly. But you know, look, I think people don't know Robert De Niro now from Raging Bull. They know him from like Meet the Parents. Meet the parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is mind blogging on a certain level. And I think that it's so great that we no longer have to pretend the audience is stupid. You guys are acutely aware of everything. You really understand what it is. And you really allow us to do different things. And that's, that's really exciting to me. Exciting. And I, I really enjoy that because I find her wonderfully funny. And it's going to be fun for me to see her in different roles where she gets to do that part of it. Whereas on this one, she's carrying so much of a really difficult balance, so it's fun. And we've also seen interacting with fans sure. and um, sort of breaking down the fourth wall. So mm -hmm. what's it like being on sort of a cult show where people are that obsessed and want to be talking to you? 
I get to be a fan. I mean, I'm a nerd. It's not real. It's not real complicated. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. So look, it's nice to break down the fourth wall because it was surprising to me that fans didn't realize that we, you know, we're human. You know, I'm Trekkie just like anybody else. You know, or a Star Wars fan or what have you. So, it's fun to sort of break the fourth wall and it's fun to know what the rules are. But I've always known what the rules are, so it's not really that hard. Um, and, and I he's like kind the of been like my entertainment pop up. He's like, hey, Nicole, so what you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm learning my lines. So he's like, do you have time to go online? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's going to make me, you know, I'm going to be self conscious. It's like, that's stupid. Connect with people. They want to know. So it's actually, and it, it's actually been really refreshing. Um, I'm learning a lot. That's cool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> it's true, though. No, like all. All mess aside, he really has been connecting us and, and showing us how important it is. And I think um, subsequently the fans feel closer and tune in and they care more and they have a lot of interesting questions and, yeah. and ideas and things that sometimes we're like, oh, we actually didn't think about that. Like, I'm working on the script all the time and yeah. I didn't think about that. So they have such great minds. It's great to connect with everybody. Well, we don't own it anymore. The truth of the matter is it, it belongs to all of us. And that's the most fun thing about any version of entertainment now that the mediums don't really matter. It's that we own this together. Your voice is as important as our voice. And not shutting that voice out is really, at least for me, what I wanted to try and do now that digital exists before you couldn't do it. And now you can. I love the relationship you know, between Abby and Ichabod and how it's evolved. That, the first scene when he's in the cell, and of course, the, <laughs> the differences of culture and everything that he's unaware of was hysterical. But then, watching the friendship develop a little bit too. I mean, mm -hmm. the arc you guys are playing, it's, I mean, just the first season is amazing. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you? Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like for you to kind of take her on this journey? You know, as, with her sister now too. I just feel so lucky. You know, you do the pilot, you have no idea where it's gonna go, um, if it's gonna get picked up, and then, no, no, we're still talking. Um, <laughs> the, um, the love I know, right? Yeah. Publicists but, um, turning around. It, you just, the fact that I get a lot of episodes to connect and figure out what the differences are. I love that I'm a modern woman and he's from this other time and then there are racial barriers, there's so many historic things that he hasn't seen happen, there are things that I'm not aware of, you know, that he's witnessed. I just love that we have so much to draw on and that we both have uh, so many resources as well at our disposal to sort of, you know, conquer the demons or whatever. Um, it's been great and Tom and I actually this experience parallels that in a way because we have no idea what's going on. We've never gone through this kind of thing before, and it's happening so so like quickly that I think um, it's it's very similar. So it's kind of close to our hearts. You guys are rocking. I'm so sorry. I have to bring them oh, up for for group shots. Feel it. Was your chemistry with Tom like instant, or did they lock you guys in a room together? No. What <laughs> chemistry? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> 